Students, we are discussing the different techniques of multiplexing. The first one that we started our discussion with was frequency division multiplexing. Before we conclude the discussion of FTM and move to the discussion of wavelength division multiplexing, there is an example of the analog hierarchy. Students, telephone companies, for their analog signals, they routinely use frequency division multiplexing. Students, this FDM, in the case of analog telephone signals, is used to combine the low bandwidth analog signals onto the high bandwidth links in the case of our telephone systems. So we'll go on to a slide and we'll look at one of these analog hierarchies that is in common use today. Students, so this is your typical telephone system and the analog signals that span that telephone system. So students, using multiplexing and specifically using frequency division multiplexing, we have got an analog hierarchy in which we take signals from lower bandwidth lines. As you can see on the right-hand side, we have got 12 4 kilohertz signals combined together. Yaad uh, an analog signal, a telephone line analog signal, voice signal, has got a bandwidth of 4 kilohertz. So what we have done is we have taken 12 voice channels. Each of the channel is carrying each individual um, 4 kilohertz signals. And we have multiplexed that to start with onto a higher bandwidth line to create something that we call as a group. We have got 12 4 kilohertz voice channels. Analog voice channels that we have combined to form a group. Now, students, the bandwidth of this group is 48 kilohertz. We will then do the multiplexing again, and we will combine five of these groups to form a supergroup. Let me rephrase that. We will multiplex five of these groups to form a supergroup. Students, 12 voice channels in a group, as you can see. And we have got 60 voice channels in a supergroup. Up students, we normally, these telephone companies, they normally combine 10 supergroups to form a master group. The bandwidth of a master group is 2.52 megahertz, and it, it can carry 600 voice channels. Students, the last part of this analog hierarchy is that we combine six of these master groups to form a jumbo group. And once again, this jumbo group has got a bandwidth of 16.9 megahertz, and it can carry 3,600 voice channels. So students, this is the analog hierarchy which your telephone companies use today to carry the analog voice channels and they use frequency division multiplexing. Students, there are some other examples of the different applications of frequency division multiplexing. One of them is AM radio, another one is FM radio, but the most common one is what you're looking at, which is the multiplexing of the different telephone analog voice channels by using this analog carrier systems and this analog hierarchy.